be scared of yourself. But my favorite type of project is where I get to collaborate with the, the people that I've known for a really long time. It's very scary. And we can really push each other's buttons. <laughs> it is a man. We can play to our strengths and also play to our weaknesses at the same time. That's like why I make music and that is why I love like big projects like this where like my friends and collaborators are really to deeply embedded in, in the whole piece. A friend of mine first showed me Dottie's poetry. I instantly gravitated toward it. I identified with this like this inner conflict, the soul and the inner self, and like, you know, what is the barrier between that and the self that other people see or the self that you, uh, you present, you know, to the world and how you exist in that world versus um, how, you, how you see yourself and how you exist in yourself. I was really drawn to how, how personally I felt the words of this woman speaking about her identity as a woman. I guess I've always been drawn to setting the words of people that are clearly not me and do not have my experience and setting them in a way so that my own identity can be set against the identity of the author. The thing that is really special about this project and the way that all these songs has grown is that the spirit of Dorothea is not something that I can achieve on my own and it's not something that is merely a setting of Dottie's texts. It's the two of us together and it's, it's also the, the world of Eliza Bag, who collaborated really strongly on this work with me and, and it's also the work of Rachel Perry and it's like a joint aesthetic. It's a joint identity. It is a man. It is a man. It is a man.